Which answer choice shows what the equation below will look like once x is isolated on one side of the equation? Now the reason that we want x isolated, here's x, is because when we have x equals something, then we could find out the value of x, which is what we're trying to do with equations like this anyways. And the way that we do this is by performing the same operation to both sides of the equation. The first thing that I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to take this equation right here, 16 minus x plus 5 equals 5, and I'm actually going to use the distributive property here to show that this negative sign refers to everything in the parentheses. So it's 16 minus x, and although it says plus 5 there, we have to put the negative sign there, so it's minus 5 equals 5. Now, whatever I do to both sides of the equation, um, will just I'll be attempting to isolate x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I see that there's only one number over on this side, and I have three terms over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take x, and I'm going to add it to both sides. So when I take negative x plus x, and 5 plus x on the other side of the equation, right, the other side of the equal sign, Negative x plus x, that'll be like negative 3 plus 3, negative 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. And the other numbers don't change. But on the other side now, I have 5 plus x. Although I have moved a step closer, I still don't have x all by itself. So what I need to get rid of is this 5. Now it's a positive 5, so what I do is I subtract 5 from both sides, because then what I end up having is 5 minus 5 over here is equal to 0 plus x, which is actually just equal to x. So when I subtract 5 from both sides, what I get is I get 16 minus, no need for me to subtract 0, it has no value, minus 5 minus another 5 is equal to x. Now I have x all alone, and I know that x is equal to 16 minus 5 minus 5, if I were to solve that out, I could see that it has a total of 6, but here I also see the exact same equation for a correct answer.